the heavens and the earth, which are now, by the same word, are kept in store, reserved under fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years is one day. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also, and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be? in all holy conversation and godliness, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of God, when the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent, that ye may be found of him in peace, without spot and blameless. Attention. We are now at DEFCON 1. Security lockdown. Russian nukes in space. The country recently tested a nuclear-capable hypersonic missile. Hypersonic missiles and aircraft could be the future of warfare. One of the most powerful nuclear weapons in the world is the B-83 nuclear bomb, the heavyweight of the U.S. arsenal. Weighing about 2,400 pounds or 1,100 kilograms and stretching 12 feet or 3.7 meters in length with a diameter of 18 inches or 46 centimeters, it's roughly the size of a small car. But within this imposing frame lies a force of unimaginable destruction. The B-83 is a gravity bomb, meaning it's dropped from an aircraft and relies solely on gravity to reach its target. No rockets or propulsion systems, just a free-falling descent. This might sound simple, but the devastation it can unleash is anything but. Carried by strategic bombers like the B-2 Spirit Stealth Bomber and the B-52 Stratofortress, the B-83 can be delivered deep into enemy territory. With a blast yield of up to 1.2 megatons of TNT, the B-83 is approximately 80 times more powerful than the bomb dropped on Hiroshima, which had a yield of about 15 kilotons. To put that into perspective, imagine the explosive energy of 1.2 million tons of TNT detonating in a single moment. But the B-83 isn't just about raw power. It's designed to penetrate underground bunkers, burrowing into the earth before detonating. As for how many of these weapons exist, while exact numbers are classified, experts estimate that there are about 650 B-83s, and it is thought there are about 200 B-83 bombs in active service. This number has decreased over the years due to arms reduction treaties and modernization efforts. In fact, there are plans to retire the B-83 altogether in favor of more advanced, lower-yield nuclear weapons. To grasp the true magnitude of the B-83's destructive power, imagine a single one detonated as an airburst over Beijing, China. The immediate fireball would engulf an area over 4 square kilometers or 1.5 square miles, vaporizing everything within its radius. Buildings would collapse within a 7.5 kilometer or 4.6 mile radius due to the intense blast pressure, flattening much of the city center. Windows would shatter up to 21 kilometers or 13 miles away, sending glass shards flying and causing injuries even in distant neighborhoods. The thermal radiation would cause third degree burns to anyone within 13 kilometers or eight miles, covering an area of over 500 square kilometers or over 200 square miles. In terms of human cost, 
Such a detonation could result in an estimated 1.5 million immediate fatalities and over 3 million injuries, and that's just from a single B-83 bomb. The United States operates about 76 B-52 Stratofortress bombers, which were once capable of carrying up to eight B-83 nuclear bombs. However, by 2010, US Strategic Command removed nuclear gravity bombs from the B-52's arsenal as the aircraft was no longer considered capable of surviving modern air defenses. Today, only the US fleet of 19 B-2 Spirit stealth bombers is tasked with delivering nuclear gravity bombs, including the B-83, with each capable of carrying up to 16 B-83 nuclear bombs. This means the potential for devastation isn't limited to one bomb, but could involve numerous simultaneous detonations, exponentially increasing the destructive impact. In imagining the true scale of modern nuclear weapons, at number four on the list is the Trident II missile, a cornerstone of the US and UK nuclear deterrent. Unlike gravity bombs like the B-83, the Trident II is a submarine-launched ballistic missile, or SLBM. The Trident II missile is an engineering marvel. Weighing about 59,000 kilograms or 130,000 pounds and stretching 13.5 meters or 44 feet in length, it's a three-stage solid fuel rocket capable of traveling over 12,000 kilometers or 7,500 miles. This incredible range allows it to strike targets virtually anywhere on the globe from submarines hidden deep beneath the ocean's surface. What truly sets the Trident II apart is its use of multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles, or MIRVs. Each missile can carry up to eight nuclear warheads, typically the W-88, each with a yield of 475 kilotons. That's about 30 times the power of the Hiroshima bomb for each warhead. This means a single Trident II missile can deliver devastating blows to multiple targets across a wide area, effectively multiplying its destructive capability. The missile's guidance system is highly advanced, combining astro-inertial navigation with GPS updates to ensure remarkable accuracy. It's capable of hitting within 100 meters of its target after traveling thousands of miles. The Trident II is deployed on Ohio-class submarines for the US Navy and Vanguard-class submarines for the Royal Navy providing a stealthy and survivable second strike capability that is crucial for nuclear deterrence. To grasp the potential impact of this weapon, imagine a single Trident II missile launched toward Moscow. With all eight warheads targeting the same area for maximum effect. The combined explosive yield would be approximately 3.8 megatons of TNT. Upon detonation as an airburst, the immediate fireball would engulf an area over 10 square kilometers, or close to four square miles, vaporizing everything within its radius. Buildings would be obliterated within an 11 kilometer or close to seven mile radius, flattening much of the city center. Thermal radiation would cause third degree burns to anyone within 22 kilometers, or close to 14 miles from ground zero covering an area of over 1,500 square kilometers or 580 square miles. The human cost would be staggering, estimated at over 2.8 million immediate fatalities and 4.6 million injuries. And remember, this is from just one Trident II missile. The United States operates 14 Ohio-class nuclear submarines, each capable of carrying up to 20 Trident II missiles. That adds up to 280 Trident II missiles lurking in the depths of the oceans. With each missile carrying up to eight warheads at 475 kilotons apiece, we're looking at a total of 2,240 nuclear warheads. If you calculate the combined explosive power, it amounts to an astonishing 1,064 megatons of TNT. That's the equivalent of over 70,000 Hiroshima bombs worth of destructive energy concealed beneath the sea. This immense force is constantly on patrol, ready to be unleashed if ever called upon. At number three is China's DF-5 intercontinental ballistic missile, specifically the DF-5C variant. This missile is a true giant, 
standing over 106 feet tall and weighing approximately 183 tons. First introduced in the 1980s, the DF-5 has remained a cornerstone of China's nuclear deterrent ever since. The DF-5 has an impressive range of up to 15,000 kilometers, or about 9,300 miles, which means it can reach almost any target on the globe from launch sites within China. What makes it particularly formidable is its payload. The latest versions, like the DF-5B and DF-5C, are equipped with MIRVs, allowing them to carry up to 12 nuclear warheads, each with a yield of one megaton of TNT. To understand the scale, remember that the Hiroshima bomb was just 15 kilotons of TNT, so each warhead on the DF-5 is about 66 times more powerful. If all 12 warheads were directed at the same target area, the combined explosive power would be a staggering 12 megatons. That's 800 times more powerful than the bomb dropped on Hiroshima. Let's imagine that a single DF-5C missile launched toward Washington, D.C. with all 12 warheads impacting the same area. The fireball would engulf an area with a radius greater than three kilometers or two miles, effectively vaporizing everything in that zone. The blast would cause most residential buildings to collapse within a 16 kilometer or close to 10 mile radius. And third degree burns could affect people up to 35 kilometers or close to 22 miles away. The human cost would be unimaginable. Estimated fatalities could exceed 1 million with over 1.8 million more injured. What's even more alarming is that this level of destruction comes from just one DF-5 missile. China is believed to have around 20 to 30 DF-5 missiles in its arsenal. At number two on the list is the Russian R-36 ICBM, better known by its NATO designation as the Satan missile. Developed during the Cold War, this missile is one of the most powerful ever built, designed to deliver massive nuclear payloads across vast distances. The R-36 is a colossal missile, standing over 32 meters, or about 106 feet tall, and weighing close to a staggering 210,000 kilograms, which is close to half a million pounds. It's a two-stage, liquid-fueled rocket, designed to deliver nuclear warheads across continents, with an operational range of up to 16,000 kilometers or close to 10,000 miles. This means it can reach targets virtually anywhere in the world from launch sites within Russia. What makes the Satan missile particularly fearsome is its payload capacity. It can carry up to 10 MIRVs, each armed with a nuclear warhead ranging up to one megaton of TNT. This means a single missile can unleash a total explosive yield of up to 10 megatons of TNT, about 666 times more powerful than the bomb dropped on Hiroshima, a fitting figure for the Satan missile. Some variants of the R-36 were equipped with a single massive warhead with a yield of up to 20 megatons. That's over 1,300 times the power of the Hiroshima bomb, designed to obliterate hardened targets like missile silos and command bunkers. Now imagine if a single R-36 missile were to detonate over San Francisco with a single 15 megaton warhead. The immediate fireball would engulf an area over 30 square kilometers or 12 square miles, vaporizing everything within a three kilometer or close to a two mile radius. Buildings would be flattened within a 17 kilometer or over 10 mile radius, decimating much of the Bay Area. Thermal radiation would cause third degree burns to people up to 40 kilometers or over 24 miles away, covering an area of nearly 4,800 square kilometers or 1,850 square miles. The human toll would be catastrophic Estimated fatalities could exceed 1 million, with over 1.3 million more injured. And this is the impact of just one missile. Russia is believed to have around 46 operational R-36M2 Voivoda missiles, the most advanced variant of the SS-18, 
Each of these missiles can carry multiple warheads, significantly multiplying their destructive potential. With such an arsenal, the sheer scale of power held within these weapons is almost beyond comprehension. Finally, at the top of the list is the Russian RS-28 Sarmat missile, ominously nicknamed the Satan II. This intercontinental ballistic missile represents the pinnacle of modern nuclear weaponry, developed to replace the aging R-36M Satan missiles. The RS-28 Sarmat is designed to evade missile defense systems and deliver massive payloads across the globe. The Sarmat is a three-stage liquid-fueled missile that weighs over 208 tons and measures over 35 meters or about 116 feet in length. It's capable of carrying a variety of warhead configurations, including up to 10 heavy MIRVs or 15 lighter ones, along with advanced countermeasures to bypass missile defenses. Its range exceeds 18,000 kilometers or over 11,000 miles, allowing it to reach targets anywhere on Earth. One of the most concerning features of the RS-28 is its ability to utilize a fractional orbital bombardment system, or FOBS. This means the missile can enter a low Earth orbit and approach targets from any direction, including over the South Pole, effectively bypassing traditional early warning systems that are oriented toward the North. Some reports speculate that the Sarmat could theoretically carry a payload of up to 50 megatons, equivalent to the Tsar bomber, the most powerful nuclear device ever detonated. While such a massive yield is more hypothetical and not practical for modern military use, imagining its potential impact is sobering. Consider a scenario where a 50 megaton warhead is detonated over New York City. The immediate fireball would engulf an area with a radius of over 5 kilometers or over 3 miles, vaporizing everything within 83 square kilometers or 32 square miles. The intense blast wave would cause heavy destruction up to 26 kilometers or 16 miles away, leveling buildings and structures in more than 2,000 square kilometers or close to 800 square miles. Third degree burns could be inflicted on people up to 60 kilometers or 37 miles away, covering an area of close to 11,000 square kilometers or over 4,200 square miles. The human toll would be unimaginable. Estimated fatalities could exceed 7 million people with over 6 million more injured. And this is just from a single RS-28 Sarmat missile, assuming the theoretical payload of 50 megatons of TNT. To put this into perspective, when the 50 megaton Tsar bomber was detonated in 1961, the flash was visible as far away as Norway, over a thousand kilometers from the test site. Similarly, a 50 megaton explosion over New York City would be visible with the naked eye all the way to Columbia, South Carolina, nearly a thousand kilometers away. But what does all this mean for us today? Despite Russia's impressive arsenal on paper, recent events have cast doubt on its true capabilities. Russia's new Sarmat ballistic missile, known as the Satan II, reportedly blew up during a test launch, leaving a massive crater at the site. Combined with the setbacks and debacles Russia has faced in its aggressor's war in Ukraine, it seems that Russia might not be as formidable as many once thought, but merely a paper tiger. Yet in a full-scale nuclear exchange, even a few missiles from Russia's nearly 6,000 nuclear warheads would cause unimaginable damage to the United States. But the real challenge isn't about who has the biggest bomb, but about ensuring these weapons are never used. Because in a nuclear war, there are no winners, only a world left in ruins where everyone loses. Malachi 4. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly, shall be stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. But unto you that fear my name shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in his wings, 
and ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall. And ye shall tread down the wicked, for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet in the day that I shall do this, saith the Lord of hosts.